hear it about me. Um, and I'm going to hand the mic over to Lana, uh, who's going to show you how to build your study schedule in CramFighter. So, Lana, take it away. Now, I don't know. Can you... Good, you got the mute off. Okay, one second. So let me just oh. share my screen. Oh, please. Here's your, here's your chance to <laughs> drink a bit of water. All right. Um, I'm going to come at a look, this uh, full screen right here. And there we go. Uh, perfect. Can everyone see this? So uh, just to give you a little background about how my medical school's curriculum is set up, we have two exams every week. So it's very, very difficult to um, fit in board studying during the blocks. Uh, so we have like eight blocks for each system. And we're right now we're, le we're learning endocrine and reproductive. And so generally what I have is a basic set using CREM study. Like I'm going through my sketchy over and over again with on key supplementation. And I am also doing um, like if you count all my questions, about 80 questions um, a week from True Learn and from um, UWorld, just kind of alternating them because I'm planning to take both. Um, I'm a DO student. And so what I wanted to show you today is how I'm going to set up a, a study block for, um, for my block break. So I'm gonna have a nice long three, week, three weeks off um, in the winter. So I'm going to edit my schedule and I'm going to, um, one second, create a study blog where, so for me, I'd like to review Neuro. It's a, it's a challenging system for many students. And my break is, one second, let me go back to, it's from like December, and I had it written down, but so it's December 23rd up to January 17th. So that's my winter break. And that's when I'm planning to review the neuro system. For that, I have um, this next page here shows you special days, meaning that I can take off a few days um, or if there's like Christmas that I'd want to add a day off. I don't want to be studying on Christmas. Um, I would just go to, where is it? January 25th, for example. And yeah, free study day. Um, and then it's nice to have like a little buffer days for whenever you uh, just whenever you get behind because it's bound to happen, it's inevitable, and it's all right. Um, we're all in this together. So, so let's do every second, like Saturday. Saturday's a good, yeah, Saturday is when I'll have off. It's only three weeks long. So like one Saturday I'll have off or something like that. And then uh, this page shows the resources that I have, uh, that all the resources, and then I'll pick the ones that I have to go with my schedule. So um, at AMBOSS, and I would say, okay, I would like to do in a three week span, uh, just AMBOSS on its own, I will do like uh, 45 questions total. Um, but let's just do it this way, because that'd be easier. So say on Mondays, I'll do, and that's three weeks should be like 45 and then um i also use you world so i'm just getting all the question um questions out now again i kind of like this setup more say on tuesday i'll do like 10 you world questions and then thursday another 10 um let's set that up there. Kind of alternating them with um Comlex style questions because there are different. Here they are. Let's do ten. Ten. And then, of course, for my main review, um, I personally use Boards and Beyond. Hmm. One second, where'd they go? <laughs> beyond perfect lectures. So again, here it shows you all the videos that they have available. Um, I'm gonna go down to neuro, which is N. Neurology, all right. 
Uh, so we'll use, I'm gonna watch all of the neurology during that time. And what's nice about this um, software program that it kind of disperses the videos for me. So I don't have to worry about oh, which days I'm gonna watch them so that I can still meet my goal. It's a lot of videos. <laughs> um, all right. Oh God, I'm just dragging. You can like click and drag to make it go faster. All right, there we go. That's all neurology. And we click select. Additionally, I also use Pathoma. I even though sometimes there's a lot of overlap with um, the boards and beyond questions. I'm oh, sorry, like the lecture videos. What well, there it is. But I think I like repetition. Um, one second, where are we at? So these these are broken up by chapters, and so one second. Let's see. Hypertension. Nope. Um, that's pulmonary GI. No. I'll get this all on the side here. It says which system we're looking at. There we go. Nervous system. There we go. Perfect. And then just Anki. Everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people that do use Anki use um, the Anki deck. And generally, for each uh, sub deck of the system, it's about fifteen to sixteen hundred cards. So unfortunately, um, Cram Fighter doesn't really like correspond to Anki very well. It just tells you how many cards you need to do to finish your goal, which is good enough for me because I'm not a stickler uh, with Anki, but I do my best. Um, so like I said, I'll say that there's about 1600 in the sub deck for neurology and I'll add that. So that's a lot of stuff and it looks overwhelming and I could not imagine doing this uh, without some, someone else sorting it out for me. Just can you imagine trying to write all of this out on a piece of paper and then just, or count the videos manually and kind of, try to make it fit. Um, so again, my boards and beyond is like the primary uh, system review. And then you can have, a, you can either sort by subject and then by resource, or you can sort um, in chronological order. Since I'm focusing on um, just one system, it doesn't really matter. I don't think too much. You could just do um, subject. And then they'll be both intertwined, but the fulfill mine, boards and beyond. Okay. Next. So this is where I, I kind of decide of how many hours a day I'm willing to spend on the lecture, um, question banks, or flashcards. Okay. So um, like I said, um, it's nice to have some days off for but that we determined that before. So right now that looks all right to me. I don't think I need three hours to complete the, the amount of questions that I've set myself to do. One hour and one. I like to sometimes push myself and do two hours every other day of flashcards. Save. And it tells you how much you do compared to the other students average. So I'm a little bit um, above average for the le lecture hours, but it's okay. Sometimes I just like to see what it looks like and then I will go back and I can readjust um, my schedule. So you can recalculate the schedule and see what it looks like. <laughs> this is kind of where I um, play with it a little bit. So remember, this is my winter break. So I like, have to go look at month, actually. That would be a lot faster. And go to, I said, um, December. So here it is, uh, finished product starting December 23rd, my day off of lectures. Um, I have just some videos and I guess I have 20 questions for you world because um, I have a pre pre made um, block before this and they both overlapping but that's okay i'll take extra questions those are good. Um, as you can tell. <laughs> so here you can see that it has redistributed the videos for me, so I don't have to do it, and what I like about this feature is that I can. Um, 
check mark off everything that I complete and then I can kind of you know do a little extra if I feel like it um or just go you know finish it feel good about it and go on with my day and uh, allow myself to enjoy life a little bit um one thing that I forgot to mention was because my curriculum is so um kind of rigorous and we have two exams per per week which is a lot I can you know just like literally uh, I don't know hundreds of hundreds of pages um imagine hundreds of pages of books and just like all in one exam so it's like a lot and you have to uh stagger a lot so I study um like the materials for the system that I'm in as I'm going through the system so I'm learning endocrine now and so I kind of manually pick out the videos right now so that they correspond to my lectures um, but that's how I, I study the block as I'm in the block. But then during my um, break, that's when I add a review of something I've already been through, such as this. And like I said, you can always adjust if you think you could do more than this, because this a, seems like a little bit uh, definitely doable um, on your break. And if you feel like you could do more, you can always go back and edit and just edit your schedule. And you can increase the hours, um, where you want just I kind of name my study blocks as, as question banks it's endocrine neurology you'll just click on um let's see I think right here yeah perfect and you can readjust your hours you can add more resources to it and just kind of tailor it to how you feel um without having to go through the whole process again you can just add more things yeah, but that is all. Does anyone have questions? Um, stop sharing. <laughs> now I'm muted. Um, well, thank you for that. That's really uh, that's really helpful. Um, man, back when back when I was in yellow shirts, I didn't have all these fancy things. So, <laughs> Pram fighter did exist. It was not as fancy as it now. It didn't have boards and beyonds. Uh, Oh, we had first aid and we had to walk up the snow. 